welcome to the zoo in Raj Ampat, Indonesia. Please like and subscribe. This week we have a beach cook-up, we leave Masul and arrive in Sarong, West Papua. We are an Australian family that made our boat Kataupa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. I have a Kids are clean in the bottom of the boats today. And I was off to do some yoga on my supboard in that beautiful little lagoon just behind our boats there. Keep it up one more minute. Keep it up, you're so great. Standing and talking, you got me checkmate. No one's watching or nothing. I have cleared out the room, also that you can get to be the big spoon. forward take that left leg back if you're gonna go back bring the right knee forward allow your knees to just drop out to the side gently if yoga is something you enjoy i now offer online classes and the link will be down below all right guys, so we're heading over to the beach to have a barbecue and uh, we're cooking up some chicken today and I'm just making some satay sauce to go with the chicken skewers. Um, all you do to make the satay sauce is you fry up some peanuts. I fried it up in some coconut oil, coconut oil and a bit of sesame oil to taste. And then all I put in there was about a tablespoon of sugar, some garlic, onion and chili and salt and pepper. It's pretty easy. It's delicious. Well, it's a beautiful afternoon here in paradise. We've got some chicken satay to go on the fire today. Starting a little bit earlier because we've, we've, we've clicked in that, you know, every afternoon here it rains at night. So we thought maybe we'll have a lunchtime fire. It's not lunchtime, it's about three, but it's earlier than usual. <laughs> Please stoke in it. She's hot, hot Sitting. next to the fire guys. This was behind the scenes of us filming a video for our mates club. Talking about all the stuff that nobody tells you before you go full time cruising. This conversation and more is available in our mates club. If there's something that interests you, you can check it out at www.sailingcatalpa.com and sign up to be our mate. But, you know, this, that scenario is very, very common. <laughs> but at the end of the day, when you got some nice chicken, a little bit of tempeh for the uh, veggies. A little bit of sardine sauce and a little bit of rice. It's our evening, guys. We're going to go get the others. They're going to come over and we'll have a few drinks and our dinner before the rain comes in tonight. Dinner was cooked, and while we waited for the others to join, Lee and I had some fun.
Okay, it wasn't great, but it was a good first try. We'll have to practice in the water next time. The party's arrived! Woo! <laughs> Are getting pretty good at this untying boats thing. The team got into action and we were on our way. in Sarong was very welcoming. It was like we were famous with so many photos and even a dance party at the local market.
kids here are super cute and it was so good to have fresh fruit and vegetables again. So Taj just found this thing. You don't know what it is. Apaini? Wamera. Wamera. Okay. So we're not sure what it is, but Taj has Googled it. What'd you um, find? Nothing. <laughs> When visiting Raja Rampat, visitors must purchase a marine park card. They are 700,000 rupiah each person, which is about 70 Australian dollars, and passes are valid for 12 months. All right, guys, the so jerry cans do come in handy when you need to get 400 litres of fuel. It's the only way to do it. Morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, wherever you beautiful people are in the world. Doesn't matter. You're here with me right now, and I'm going to explain to you our problem. Uh, we got up this morning, we're ready to roll, and I thought, as usual, like a good captain does, he gets down on his knees before he starts the engine and checks the oil. And he looks at the oil, and the actual oil is like probably about 10 mils past where I usually fill it up to. So about that far, 10 mils higher on the dipstick. So we're sort of, we're up around the max mark here where the actual line is way down there so and as you can see if I actually drip this oil under here the oil sort of stays in the middle and then we get this halo effect around it so what's actually happened let's see if I can get a little halo over this side it's made a mess on that side if I put it there it's not a real good example if I put it there you can see it disperses real quick so the reason why my oil, I'm guessing this at this stage, uh, the reason why my oil level has risen and when I dip the oil onto a sheet of paper it gets like a halo effect around it, my assumption is that it's full of diesel and the only way the diesel, to my knowledge, can get in the uh, oil um, and fill up our sump is through the mechanical oil pump which has a diaphragm on the side of the engine which is I would say is ruptured and is leaking diesel straight into our engine so it's either that or it's going down past the rings and whatnot but Catalpa generally doesn't burn one drop of oil so I'm gonna rule that one out and I don't know if there is any other ways that oil or the diesel can get into the um, oil but I'm going to run with the fuel pump, the fuel lift pump that is. So I have searched everywhere in Sarong and I cannot find one but a gentleman by the name of Wick who runs a slipway here has informed me that a tractor or no, a generator supplier has one with a different serial number but apparently Perkins and Massey Ferguson's are the same ones and he does all the tractor motors and generators and all that. So I'm going to pull our one off, inspect it. I may even have a quick look and see if it is a diaphragm before I go any further, which I'm 90% sure it will be. I can zip into town and get one, put it in, hopefully we're on our way. If it isn't a match, I've got a second backup. So where my fuel line comes down to the lift pump and then puts it into the injectors, I'm going to turn those lines on itself so that the pump just pretty much pumps itself and another cruiser next to me has given me a fuel pump, electric one, so I'm gonna bypass our mechanical one and install an electric one until we can somehow, I don't know how, but somehow order a part to somewhere in Asia and pick it up, and that should get me out of trouble. So this one here came off an old diesel generator as a lift pump, so if this one today isn't a fit, this is what I'm going to be installing. But first things first, I'm going to remove it, have a look at it, take it into town, see if I can get that same one. Get cracking, we're so close to Raja Ampat. We're halfway there, we've been to Mosul. We're now in Sarong, and now we want to get north of here. Well baby, it's time to get in that engine bay. 
Okay. Looks nice and easily clean in here. Um, smells like diesel. There shouldn't be diesel in here. This is into the engine. That works off the cam. Um, I don't know how that obviously pumps ch -ch -ch, as the cam goes. It's dripping diesel everywhere. Oh. All right, well that's my problem, I, th I think, guys, anyway. This is my guess, so I don't know any other way that you fill your sump up with uh, diesel, but this is a mechanical pump, and it works off the cam here, and obviously it's leaking out through here, or well, my assumption is going through there and into filling up our uh, bilge. So there is a kit you can buy to redo these, but I'm just gonna get the new one, because Pretty important part of gear. Righto guys, left you this morning, been into town. It is hot. I was gonna put my shirt on, look more presentable, but it's too hot. I'm dripping, I haven't even started work yet, so I'm gonna show you quickly what's going on here. This is the old one that was leaking out through here. You can even see the diesel there. This is our new one. This was an aftermarket. I've actually found the new genuine one. It's cost me about 1.4 million, so about 140 Australian dollars. I can get them online for probably 50 dollars, but that's how it is when you pay the premium for when you need it right now. Anyway, we've got it, that's the main thing. About now, and we should have the engine ready for oil change, and then ready to go out to the islands. Have some fun, and get rolling again. Let's do this. You! Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you next time.